day three, the jury in William Reese's death penalty trial hearing testimony to help them decide who killed Tiffany Johnston, the 19 year old vanishing from the Sunshine Car Wash in 1997. The owner testifying, he found out while watching the news. He says he recognized Reese and his white dually pickup using his car wash. The dually sticking out to him and several alleged victims because of the half camper on the bed of his truck. The owner immediately calling the OSBI. The day after her disappearance, her body found in a Canadian County field. The ME testifying marks on her hands and wrist show Johnston may have been bound before she was killed. Busted capillaries in her eyes, red dots on her face, and a fractured bone in her neck, all signs someone strangled her with their hands. Johnston's assailant leaving behind marks that could be from fingertips and knuckles. The ME ruling her death a homicide and sexual in nature. DNA swabs were taken from her body. After an exhaustive search for a suspect, the case went cold until 2012, when an OSBI agent was asked to reinvestigate. With DNA technology advancing, agents decide to retest the swabs. In 2015, investigators said Reese could not be excluded as a possible match. Meanwhile, Reese was serving a 60-year sentence in Texas for an attempted kidnapping. Now Reese is linked to three other murders in Texas, all the victims around Johnston's age and happening around the same time.